Hi, often we have this complaint that we are not able to focus during our preparation, that we are not able to remember things for a longer duration, that we are getting easily distracted. All this has something to do with internal clock, internal body clock, biologic clock or circadian rhythm. So in this video, we'll discuss the relation between learning, intellectual performance and this so-called body clock and also how we can practically use the given time in a day in order to efficiently improve our speed, accuracy, memory and performance. So that will be the focus of the present video. And as I said, learning and intellectual performance are strongly linked with the internal body clock or the biologic clock or the so-called circadian rhythm. Planet Earth rotates 24 hours, we have day and night and this is deeply ingrained in our physiologic processes, in our internal systems. And you take any system, you take respiration, digestion, excretion, reproduction, you take any system, it waxes and wanes in line with these circadian rhythms. And learning is not an exception. Even learning is a physical process that involves your neurons and learning is more efficiently done during day than night time. Night time it's more complex. Night time it's more challenging to learn things, to process things and to memorize things. So in this video, let's try to have a better understanding of this circadian rhythm and how it's going to influence our learning patterns. And most importantly, I'm going to give you six practical tips which are published in various international acclaimed journals into how we can efficiently use the given time in order to make most out of it and start focusing on things and start improvising our memories, right? So the first and foremost, as you can see, following the rhythm. Here starts the problem. It's not just about the study table I'm talking about or the timetable for study, but getting up in the morning and sleeping at night, we find it difficult to manage because of numerous reasons. I mean, following a regular pattern of waking up and sleeping is a huge challenge because of the kind of distractions we have in the modern day. You know what happens when you don't follow the rhythm? You obviously have to face the consequences, be it memory loss, be it inability to focus, be it loss of speed or accuracy, and diminishing of intellectual performance. They, these will be obviously the consequences of not respecting your biology, not respecting the circadian rhythm. So when I say follow the rhythm, let me give you the physiologic reason behind this. You know, when you wake up early in the morning, five o'clock, six o'clock or seven o'clock or even eight o'clock, your body temperatures continue to rise throughout the day and they decrease during the night time. So that's what normally happens to anyone's physiology. Temperature has something to do with learning. Temperature has something to do with chemical processes. So as temperature increases during the day, the chemical processes that happen in our physiologic system also increase in pace and learning also depends upon chemical processes that happen in neurons. That's the reason why learning is more efficient during day compared to night time. That's very, very important. So following the rhythm, focusing on learning during daytime compared to nighttime is obviously going to increase your focus and long-term memory. That's very, very important. And skin, we say night owls. Those who have this habit of studying, working extra hard till 2 a.m., 3 a.m., right? Night owls. So let's try to have a comparison between morning active goers and night owls. Unfortunately, I'm sorry if you are a night owl. Night owls are known to perform very badly. They're more prone to fatigue during the rest of the day. They're more prone for long-term health complications, including loss of memory, including diminished ability to focus. That's the fact, that's the research, that's the science for your information. Morning active goers, research proves that they are more successful in their careers, they have better long-term memory, they're able to focus more on the given task and since they're respecting their daily circadian rhythm, 
they are going to outperform the night owls. So you have to decide which path you want to choose now. And fix it time. When I say fix it time, human evolution is based on anticipation. It's based on anticipation of food. It's based on anticipation of predation. It's based on anticipation. And you anticipate things. You're going to perform well. You're going to, you know, efficiently focus on the given task. So when you have a fixed schedule, like you study every day, morning 7 to 8 a.m., when you have this fixed schedule, research has proved that you're going to exhibit bouts of focus, improvements in long-term memory again, and increase in speed and accuracy. So having a fixed timetable, fixed study schedule is going to enable you to perform better. It's anticipation. It's all about anticipation. And next, sleep schedule. I mean, we have a havoc here. We really find it challenging to sleep on time. Again, because of the distractions. You know what? Even if you say that I'm sleeping eight hours a day, even though I'm sleeping from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. every day, it's not going to work because it's not that you're going to sleep on time only on the weekdays. Even weekend sleep timings are very, very important. You know what we do usually? We work very hard, we sleep eight hours or seven hours, 10 to 5, 10 p.m. to 5 a.m., Monday to Friday, and Saturday and Sunday, we just booze on things. We just uh, have this binge of watching numerous shows at once. We strain ourselves. And you know what happens? We have something called as social jet lag. You know what jet lag is, right? So there will be social jet lag and that's going to have or impede your performance in the coming week. You're going to have attention problems the next entire week, no matter how you have followed the previous five day schedule, sleep schedule. So that's very, very important. Having a reset fixed planned sleep schedule throughout the week is very, very important. I hope you got my point. And the penultimate practical tip is not sleeping after you get tired, but sleeping before you get tired. Sleeping doesn't mean sleeping six hours or eight hours at a stretch. I'm talking about nap, afternoon nap, power nap, or whatever you call it. So, you know, even in Japan, I heard that workers are, or those who are working in any industry, they're forced to sleep afternoon because sleeping is going to improve the performance. Again, it's going to improve the processing of your memory and long-term memory for that matter. And obviously it improves your focus. So sleeping before you actually get tired is very important. It's not that you work incessantly, continuously, work efficiently, and then you get tired in sleep. That's fine, but having this nap before you actually start your evening or afternoon work is also very important in improving your speed, accuracy, memory, and intellectual performance. And last but not the least, morning walk. You know, they say when the moment you wake up early in the morning, we start studying or we start involving in some discussions and we think we are utilizing the morning fresh hours. But unfortunately, that's not the case. We have two important practical findings here. One, cortisol awakening response. Two, nighttime melatonin synthesis. The moment you wake up, there is flood of stress hormones which are produced in your body, cortisol. Because you are in a kind of a sleepy mood, you have to come out of that sleep inertia and you have to energize and power yourself throughout the day. For which body naturally produces this stress hormone so that you start working. This cortisol awakening response is going to impede your memory. That's the reason why you shouldn't start studying the moment you wake up. It's better to take a walk or it's better to go for exercise. And the second reason why you shouldn't start studying immediately after waking up is because of the influence of melatonin hormone which is produced during nighttime. To produce sleep, to induce sleep, we have this melatonin hormone which is produced during nighttime and this is going to hamper your memory. So for this melatonin hormone to get cleared out of your bloodstream, all you have to do is wake, go outside, expose yourself to some daylight, there will be clearance of melatonin from your bloodstream and 
you can start focusing on your task at hand. So these are some of the practical tips which I find very useful and relevant for us in our day to day activities. Right. So to summarize all that we have discussed so far, focus, practical performance, speed, accuracy, long term memory are strongly linked to our biologic clock, to our circadian rhythm. We are not an exception. We are on this planet Earth where the 24 hour cycle is deeply ingrained in our physiologic process and we ought to respect in order to enhance our performance, in order to have better memories and ultimately better grades. I hope it's useful. Wish you all the best. Love you all.